What's up guys, Apple Advance here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to improve your battery life on iOS 11. Now ever since iOS 11 has been introduced to us, well there's been one gigantic problem and that is the battery life. So in today's video I'll be showing you guys the top 10 methods on improving your battery life. Now but guys before we actually begin with today's tutorial, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button down below. Guys, if you have subscribed, go to right now. But anyways, guys, without further ado, this has been Apple Advanced, and let's begin with today's tutorial. So most of the methods that we are going to cover in today's video are going to be located in the settings application. So basically, once you have your settings application opened up, you want to go ahead and find your general tab and scroll down until you find accessibility. From here, you want to go ahead and click display accommodations, and from here, go ahead and turn on reduce white point. So for me, I have mine set at 38% because personally with the, the whole white theme going on with iOS and um, you know invert colors not working the best, I prefer you know display accommodations because if you want to lower your brightness more than usual, then this is the best way. So for example, if I lower my brightness, for example, this is another method, you can just lower your brightness a regular way. Well, if I want to put this all the way down, but I say, you know what, I want it even lower. From here, you can just do reduce white point and go down all the way to 100% and your screen gets even darker. So that is a trick on how to get your screen a little bit darker. But personally, I keep my brightness on 100% and keep reduce white points at 38%. So yeah, these are like two ways that you guys can save your battery life. So the next one on our list is reduce motion. To actually do this, you wanna find settings, general and go ahead and find accessibility again and from here go ahead and click reduce motion now for me I have auto play messages effects on just personally because my battery life does not go by fast because I have a battery case and that usually helps me out a lot but reduce motion is a option that you guys can choose to do or not I personally love reduce motion it took me a while to get used to it, it took me about I don't know a week or two but after that, I started realizing how quick I can open up applications and actually get out of them. It looks way better than the regular animation that is used. For me, um, I used to have a lot of problems with the whole animation going in and out of applications, going in and out of folders, and it would sometimes even glitch out. With reduced motion, this actually fixes that. and. Um, it even keeps the, the process up faster and it also saves battery life. Now if you want to save battery life even more, I would turn off autoplay message effects. But if you guys don't really care too much, you can actually just leave this on or really you could just, you know, turn off reduced motion. But yeah, that is another method. So one that people do not actually know about is actually your cellular. So basically by using your data, you actually use more battery. Personally, when I use data, um, I don't really pay attention to my battery and then I realize how much has been consumed. Now personally, I'm on iOS 10 and I still find the same effects. I get my battery just totally wiped out when I use data. Um, but yeah, like I said, I have a battery case, so this is not really that big of a deal for me. But for people who don't have a battery case or are even on iOS 11, this can be really bad because just by using cellular, you can actually risk your phone dying just even while it's you're not even using it. That's the thing about it. You cannot be even using your phone and your phone will simply just be using up data. And it's actually pretty crazy because things like AdSense and Dropbox, eBay, FaceTime, things like this, I don't even use using cellular data. The things that I use during cellular is just, um, I think YouTube, that's the only thing I've used it for and maybe a couple movies, but that's really it. So yeah, sell your data can be used in the background. So personally, if you're not using data, just turn it off, okay? It actually helps you out and you can save your battery at the same time. So next up is a really obvious one and that is just low power mode. Turning low power mode on is actually really good. Sometimes on iOS 11 for iOS 11 users, people just, as soon as they're like on 90% battery or something, they just turn on low power mode because they'd rather have their phone running in low power mode than just have it running without low power mode because you have some really cool things that happen when you turn low power mode on, which is basically you shut down your background app refresh, which is also a different method but yeah a low power mode one of my favorite things out there one of the favorite things that they introduced into iOS it really helps out and it really does the trick for this one it's a little bit different this is airplane mode and basically 
once you click on airplane mode and you basically disconnect yourself from getting calls or messages or even hooking up to Wi-Fi you know you obviously can turn on Wi-Fi on using airplane mode but once you click it once it will disconnect you from your Wi-Fi and you'll not be allowed to use data so with airplane mode you can actually charge your phone faster if you guys did not know that but at the same time blocking yourself from incoming calls and um, stuff like that you can actually save your battery so yes if you are doing something like you're playing a mobile game you're on iOS 11 and that game does not require you to, to be like hooked up to the internet you're not worried about any calls incoming airplane mode is an actually a good option to do so yeah airplane mode definitely good so the next one we have is background app refresh so I sort of already went over this but yeah background app refresh is located in your generals tab in settings so I'll go ahead and click at background app refresh and as you can see I have it turned off it says when in low power mode background app refresh is disabled allow apps to refresh their content when on Wi-Fi or cellular in the background so yes background app refresh is something that I will have turned on or off depending on if I'm hooked up to you know uh, my cable or something like that that, like I'm charging up or if I'm on the go and I do not have access to you know a charger or something like that then yeah I will really recommend you guys turning on background app refresh off it's uh, really helpful and helps you save your battery the next one we have you wouldn't really think would impact you this is located in the generals tab and then just basically go ahead and find accessibility scroll all the way down till you can find a vibration so I see vibration is on so as you see I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. So basically from here, vibration, once it's turned off, your iPhone will not really alert you about things and um, it basically won't even go off at all. For example, uh, if I get a notification from Twitter, the phone will simply just light up and it will not vibrate or anything like that. Vibrating because it's an action and it actually takes um, some type of battery life to push your phone to actually vibrate. This, all these little tiny things, they actually have an impact on your battery. So turning off something as simple as a vibration can definitely have an impact on your battery lifespan. This one is a really good one. This is Raise to Wake, located in the Display and Brightness tab in Settings. So once you turn this off, this will basically help you sustain your app battery life. So for example, if I pick up my phone that's face down on a table and I pick it up, usually your phone will on, it will light up, almost like it sort of knows. But basically this is a little feature inside the iPhone that is pretty cool. So by turning this off, you will obviously not have access to this and this can all be also included and just turned on such as background app refresh including race to wake if you on low power mode low power mode is actually phenomenal because a lot of these methods on these lists well they get turned off using low power mode so yeah if anything you really want to use low power mode but yeah turning off raise to wake is really helpful so our second to last one is the brightness and this one I sort of already went over when I was talking about reduce uh, reduce white point but yeah just a simple lowering your brightness is not that bad okay um, for me I personally just like to use my phone up all the way and then just have reduced white point because personally I wake up in the morning and I look at my phone so when I see sort of a lot of white on the screen it's definitely gonna hurt my eyes so yeah in the right before I go to bed I usually just turn on my, my brightness and that actually saves my battery life so if you are a person who maybe already has sensitive eyes Turning down your brightness is actually a good way to go. Yes, it's a common method out there, and a lot of people, when they're on their like last 10%, usually just go all the way down. So yeah, that is an option, but obviously you can always just go semi, which is like about like right there. So yeah, this one is a thing that I think a lot of people do not know about, and that is turning off your iPhone will actually not be a good thing as you think it is. So basically, once you turn off your iPhone, you know, you think it's good, your phone is, you know, starting to refresh itself, restart, but once you turn on your iPhone again, that's where most of the power goes to, and your battery will be drained fast from that. So yeah, if you are on, a, you know, low battery or something like that, and you really want to save it for later, turn on reduce white point, lower that down all the way, just lower down your brightness all the way, that's basically like turning off your iPhone, close out all your apps, 
that's also a different method but yeah do not turn off your iphone because once you turn it back on that's where a lot of your battery will go but yeah guys that wraps up today's video make sure you guys if one of these methods do work for you you know they do end up benefiting you that you guys leave a thumbs up button down below guys if you haven't subscribed go to right now but this has been apple advanced and see you guys